Just listening on. Ugh. Man, it's been a long time since I've actually done this kind of a video setup. With the exception of Tech Talk, I mean, geez, I've got that monstrosity behind me. We've kind of moved forward in the whole YouTube sphericals, testicles. Why did I say that? <laughs> Get 10% off anything from Cooler Master at the CM Store. See the description for details. So yesterday on Twitter, I put up a straw poll asking you guys what you wanted my next video to be. And I put up a couple of choices and I let you guys pick. And so if you want to start getting more involved on the videos that I make here on this channel, make sure you head on over to Twitter or Facebook because they link together and uh, let yourself be heard on the videos that I make here on my channel. Now you guys spoke up and it was a narrow margin, but the video topic that won over on Straw Poll was learning more about my fan and fan cooling setup. Why do I call it a fan cooling setup? Well, obviously my system is water cooled, but this video is going to be a little bit less about the water cooling and more about the fans I chose, the type of fan they are, why I chose them, the sizes that I chose, and the configuration I have them set in. You know, push, pull, exhaust, intake, and why I went with that. Now, first things first, let's go ahead and get the obvious out of the way. The two things that are obvious. One, the case is a 900D by Corsair. It is huge. And so is the case. <laughs> yeah, the case is pretty damn big and it can fit a lot of fans. Obvious point number two. Yes, the fan rings are painted. No, they were not purchased that color. No, they were not dyed. Yes, I painted them. I get asked this question every single time I post a picture of my system. And I don't know why more people can't really just see that they're painted. But yes, they're painted. I used Valspar self-etching primer included paint thing. It's got primer and paint mixed in one. And it's a goldenrod color because that's what perfectly matched the Z77 OC formula from ASRock. So let's go ahead and put that to bed. Yes, the rings are painted. You can paint yours too, any color you want. Just go get spray paint and spray paint them. All right, now what fans am I using? They are all Corsair fans, but we've got a mixture here. We have got three. That's how we Americans do three. But if you're European, we have got three of the Corsair AF 140s, Airflow 140s, and they are the Quiet Edition. I have got nine, one, two, not nine of the Corsair SP 120s. That is static pressure 120 fans. Again, Quiet Edition. Now let's go ahead and talk about the fan placements. The three AF 140s are exhaust fans. I have two on the top and one on the rear pulling air across the motherboard and out of the case. Now I have two SP 120 quiet edition fans on the front intaking. Now you guys have asked me, why do you have SP 120s where airflow would have made more sense? We'll get back to that. On the bottom of the case in the basement, on my two radiators, because I have a quad 120 radiator and a triple 120 radiator, I have seven SP120 quiet edition fans. So there you go. There's the rundown. 12 fans in total, three AF140s, nine SP120s. Now, why did I put the SP120s on the front instead of the airflow fans? Well, because the way the Corsair is, when we have hard drive cage right in front of them and you've got the fan filter right behind it as well as a little block off plate with a little gap on the side we need as much pressure as we can to get the air moving airflow in that case in that situation did not perform nearly as well trust me i tried it with the included airflow fans and found the sp120 fan i think i just threw up a little in my mouth I tried it with the airflow fans that are included with this case and found that the SPs performed a lot better. Not only that, the SPs are generally quieter. Now, when it comes to controlling dust in this system, you guys ask me all the time, how do you keep your system so clean? I don't. Guys, the system is filthy half the time. I'm dusting it every single day. It's very annoying. And I went through practically an entire can of compressed air and use this guy. This is how I keep my system clean. This little anti, it's an electronics brush and a little, we won't do that, a little foam thingy there. And that's how I keep the system clean. But now when it comes to the noise of my system, 
I am picky, super picky about the noise in my system. It must be quiet. So that's why I have so much radiator space considering I only have one processor and one graphics card. At the time of this video, another graphics card is going to most likely be going in in the future. When you have multiple radiators like this, you can use slower speed fans because you make up for the cooling capacity of slower speed fans by having more radiator space. So that's why I have seven fans on my radiator. I don't go push pull because honestly, it's not necessary. In fact, I turn the fans off on my quad radiator unless the system is doing something. Otherwise, my triple radiator is running passively, passively, actively at about 50% fan speed at all times. Now, when it comes to controlling my fans, the quad radiator is controlled by a program I use called SpeedFan. It's a free piece of software. It's not the easiest software to use. In fact, you have to configure it to work with your motherboard. Don't even ask me how to configure it for your motherboard. I don't know how to configure it for your motherboard. You're gonna have to play with the, the settings and tweak it and make it work for yourself but it's free and it works with PWM and three pin headers. And that's what I use. I use the CPU header to control the four radiator fans on the quad radiator. Now, unless the system is under load, they are off, which helps with airflow or dust, or it doesn't help with airflow, but it helps with dust and it helps with noise, keeping the noise down. And unless the system's under load, then it turns on and they only run at about 50 to 60% depending on the temperature. It is temperature controlled. I use speed fan to say, if the temperature's this, run at this speed. And it's a curve, just like if you were using MSI Afterburner for your graphics card, it's the same thing for that radiator. The triple rad, as I mentioned, is running actively always at about 50 to 60%. Uh, I think I have it set at 55, I don't recall. Now, when it comes to controlling the other fans in my system, I am using the Phobia Touch 6 fan controller. Now, the Phobia Touch 6 is pretty nice. Um, I actually did a review of it, and I'm going to put it up here somewhere so you guys can click on it and go learn more about that controller. But it's got temperature probes. It's got automatic and manual settings. It's got voltage. It shows voltage. It shows RPM. And I tend to be keeping my fans right around 700 RPM at all times. So I use a mixture of hardware control and software control for the 12 fans in my system. And for the price that that fan controller is, it is a pretty amazing piece of hardware. So that's what I use to control the rest of my fans. They're on a static setting. They don't ramp up, they don't slow down, and they're sitting at about 60% speed at all times. Now let's go ahead and talk about noise. How loud is my system? I've been told, Jay, you've got 12 fans in your system plus a power supply. That thing must be so massively loud. No, you'd be surprised. In fact, to prove just how quiet it is, I've gone ahead and put together this little bit, this little demo. So let's go ahead and take a look. Anyway, guys, there you have it. There is my fan setup for my radiators and my 900D. I'm not even utilizing all the fan space. I could put another 140 millimeter on the top and I could put another 120 millimeter on the front if I wanted to flip my radiators around the other way. Not willing to do that because I don't need the extra cooling down there. So what are you guys doing for cooling in your case? Keep in mind, if you've got a smaller case with less fan slots than this case does, you've got to use faster RPM fans to make up for the amount of airflow. I like the 900D because I can fit so many fans in it, I can slow them down, which allows me to keep the case nice and quiet while not sacrificing any of the cooling. As you guys may have seen in the past, my system never gets hotter than 65 or so degrees on the core, 43 degree-ish on the CPU socket, and 41 degrees maxed with hacked voltage overclocked GTX 780 on water. So there you have it guys. That's my cooling setup. That's how my fans are configured. Tell me all about yours. I hope this video has helped you. And remember, you can give your input on what you think my next video should be by following me on Twitter and watching for the straw polls where I'm gonna start including you guys more on the decisions I make on the videos I make for you guys. As always, I'm gonna get the hell on out of here and I'll see you in my next video.